There we go. Okay. We're going to start with a new piece. So you take your, your big thing of natural balance, and you take a big chef's knife of some sort, and you just cut right through like this. I like a piece about that big. And then you just kind of score this and peel this off. Okay, throw that aside. Now you stick it on the flat side. You always want to cut when it's sitting on the flat side so it doesn't roll and cause you to hurt yourself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it like this about into about eight pieces. So I just go slice, 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 slice. I use this just to kind of get the, um, just because it's kind of heavy. Okay, so see how I did that? And now, like a deck of cards, I'm going to break it in half and once again put it on its flat side. And now I'm going to go slice, 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 slice. So I go slice, like this, very good, okay, and now I'm going to turn this, whoops, get back up there, and I'm going to go the other way, boom, 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 boom. And this is how you ultimately get it into the little pieces that you want, and you can have lots of really high value treats that your dog is very excited to get. Can you see how small these are? This is great. So these turn out to be really small diced pieces. Okay, I'm going to do it again here. Boom, boom. And boom, 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 boom. And then what I do as I take this, I get a Ziploc baggie. I take this, pour it into a Ziploc baggie, close it up, and throw it in the fridge or um, in the freezer. Sometimes I'll take a bunch out and then put the rest in the freezer. So you can cut this whole thing up if you have that much time, or you can cut up a chunk of it and then cover it up and keep it in the refrigerator. Um, but this is how to get pieces for treats that are the right size. And as we said, we want our pieces to be no bigger than an M&M so that we can have lots of reinforcement and our dog can swallow them quickly, not get too full, and also not have to chew and really work at swallowing. And we can have kind of a quick-moving training session. Your dog will thank you. Over and out.